College Hill Forum President David Borison says these traffic calming measures came about because of concerned residents who live along North Bend Road. He says they were tired of dealing with the same issues over and over. Crashes that would result in oftentimes death or uh, severe injury. Um, we actually had a cyclist killed uh, in 2022 uh, due to you know just unsafe uh, street conditions and. Kelly Ripplinger has lived on North Bend for about two years. The first 18 months that we were here, we had four separate incidences of cars running up into our uh, yard. Four incidents. Four incidents, yes, of people. So all of them coming right over there near that tree. Thankfully, we haven't had any property damage from it. Ripplinger says she worried every time her husband would be out cutting the grass, but she says all that changed when the traffic calming measures went in. The city turned four lanes into two and created a two-way bike lane, plus there's now dedicated on-street parking. She says there's been a dramatic drop in driver speeding. It was noticeable overnight, um, especially towards rush hour. Um, you do see some of the cars start to accumulate, but everything keeps moving for the most part. Here's a quick look at the results of those changes. There's been a 60% reduction in crashes in the area. 85% fewer drivers are going over the speed limit, and most importantly, there have been no fatal crashes. But despite all that, there are opponents to the traffic calming. Some people just don't like the way they look, while others don't like being forced to deal with the newly created traffic and backups. People are able to adjust, and so if that means that you have to leave your house 10 minutes earlier, then, then maybe that's okay. Um, or maybe that means that you take a little bit longer route to, to get home because you know that this particular area is going to be a little bit more difficult. The community will get the chance to voice its opinion on what this stretch should look like the next time that it's repaved, which is scheduled for next year. However, Community President Borison tells me that going back to four lanes will not be an option. He says people will be deciding between a center turn lane, a parking lane, and bike lanes and some combination thereof. From breaking news to feel-good stories, Local 12 has it all. Tap subscribe and hit the links to find out more.